To start off this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and use a base so my foundation will even out my skin tone so that I can contour and highlight my face the way that I like. I'm gonna go ahead and contour first. I like to build up to my highlight. And so basically when you contour, you're just recreating the shadows on your face. So if you want deeper cheekbones or a more prominent nose, you can do that with contouring and highlighting. And so as you can see, the lateral light already hits my face in certain spots. Spots, and I'm using my concealer that's in a lighter tone to replicate those spots where the sunlight is automatically hitting my face. And as I build up my concealer, I'm going to just blend it all the way out throughout my face to make it a smooth transition from my highlight to my contour. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use a translucent powder to set my makeup, especially underneath my eyes because my makeup underneath my eyes always creases. So if you wanna help with creasing or just your makeup transferring all the time, you can do this by setting it with a powder to make sure it stays put all day long. So while this is setting, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of my eyebrows. Now I've allowed the powder to set, I'm gonna go ahead and just dust all of it off to make sure that I don't have any extra residue of the powder on my face. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of bronzer to contour and then use a powder highlight to add to my cheekbones. Now to make this a simpler routine, you can skip the first version of contouring with the cream and you can just do this on a regular basis. So after you apply your foundation, you can go ahead and contour with a powder and then highlight with also a powder. So once we're all finished with highlighting, I'll go ahead and finish off my eye makeup, which I'm doing a very simple and daytime appropriate smoky eye using browns and a reddish brown to transfer out the color on my lid. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack it on here and then go ahead in with the transitional color to set it off. To finish off this look, I'll just be adding some black eyeliner to my bottom waterline and then a liquid liner to my lash line. Then I'll add a little bit of mascara, some pink or nude lip gloss, and I'm ready to go. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, talk to you guys later. Bye.